What's happening, everybody? This is Phil from Montreal Diecast Cafe, guys. And tonight, as you can see here, we've got a large box. Today, I had the day off work, and I managed to go see a couple of buddies of mine who are out in the boonies and have a have a kind of a store that sells all kinds of Hot Wheels. Old Hot Wheels, new Hot Wheels, uh, anything to do with Hot Wheels. So I kind of had a heyday and I just went and to see my two buddies up at uh, Toy Mountain Collectibles and I came out with a shitload and a handful of cars. I've got all kinds of stuff, guys. All Hot Wheels. So this is a totally Hot Wheels video. But you guys are going to see some Hot Wheels. Vintage Hot Wheels. Uh, medium vintage. Uh, there's <clears throat> just all kinds of stuff that I picked up. And a lot of stuff that I really... Didn't know that was actually out there, which is really, really cool. And these, uh, <clears throat> Jim and Nathan, up here at uh, Toy Mountain uh, Collectibles, they really know their stuff. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm very, very stoked and excited to do this video, guys. Because I got a lot of castings that I've wanted to have in my collection. And uh, also a lot of castings, uh, like I said, that I didn't even know were out there. So this is going to be pretty, pretty cool. Now you can imagine that 90% of the cars that are in here are loose. Which is really cool. So it's a pretty big box. And there's quite a lot of stuff in there. So uh, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to flip the box, set up the turntable, and uh, we'll go through it. Um... I'm wondering if that's the best way or if I just show it to you, but you know, it's always better on the turntable. So I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll set up the trusty turntable. I'll unwrap them and uh, we'll put them on the turntable and uh, check them out. Okay, guys, hope you guys enjoy this video. Seriously, if uh, you guys, uh, if you do like it, let me know in the comments. You like this type of stuff. I'm also thinking about doing uh, maybe once a week, uh, guys, uh, I'm going to start showing off my collection and what we're going to do is uh probably uh maybe once a week we're going to pick a category of cars and we're going to go through them like uh i think i'm probably going to start off with the 67 camaro guys and i will show you all my premium 67 camaros that i have and then you guys in the comments, you can let me know which one you'd like to see next. Maybe you guys would like to see uh, the Skyline, or maybe you guys would like to see Porsche, or maybe uh, Volkswagen, etc., etc., etc. You guys let me know in the comments, and uh, whatever comments uh, get more of it, I'll uh, show uh, I'll show that category of cars uh, the next week. But it's a good way to show you guys my collection. Because, I mean, yeah, I've shown you guys videos. We've gone through it uh, fast, fast. But you didn't actually get to see every car in its category and what they really look like. And, I mean, some of these could probably take a little bit longer than others. I definitely am not going to show premium and uh, mainline. Because then I, I could be there all night. Especially with the uh, 67 Camaro <clears throat> or Ferraris where I have hundreds of them. So what I'll do is I'll just start off with premium and then maybe later on down the road we'll switch up after we've seen all the premium. We'll switch it up and uh, we'll, we'll uh, check out main lines. But this is a good way to show you guys exactly what cars I have in my collection. So if you like that idea, please also let me know in the comments so I can start up those videos and uh, get those running. All right. So as it is, let's crack open this box and let's check out what I picked up at Toy Mountain Collectibles today. All right. Okay, guys, like I said, a lot of this stuff is uh, kind of vintage, so some of them are uh, not really in the best of shape. But, you know, they're, they're kind of harder castings to find anyway, so, I mean, getting them in any shape is really quite cool. And starting off with this one right here, it's a long time I wanted this one in the collection. I used to have it when I was a kid, and uh, it was really, really special to me, and I 
lost it long, 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 long time ago. And I managed to find it again. And this is a 1974 release of this van, okay, with the flames on it and the black walls. Now, this one, as I say, is a little bit beat up. And it is sitting on black wall, solid metal base, which is what was amazing about these castings. And uh, this one was also released with red lines, which is a little even a little bit harder to find. But very, very glad to get my hands on this one. Even in the condition it's in, I don't care. It just was something that I've wanted. It uh, reminds me of my childhood. And I just loved this van. So very stoked about having that. Very happy. And a lot of these cars are a little bit on the beat-up side, but that's besides the point. Moving on, we do have... Now, this one here I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if any of you guys remember a Lamley episode where he did the one-off cars. Cars that they only made one of. Well, I'm going to prove him on video wrong here, guys. Okay, because he says that the Vector was only released once now let's just check this out on the premium side here where my vector is and this one here is to show you that the vector has actually been released before in mainline now this one's sitting on ultra hot but there she is now, it's not exactly the same casting as the Vector in the Premium. But, nevertheless, it is the Vector. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Didn't know that one existed. But anyway, there she is. Next, we have... I'll just kind of take these stickers off here, guys. I want to show you, actually, I think this one I'll save it till later because I don't know if I'm going to open it. This one's still carded, so I'm not sure if I'm going to open that one again. So, next one I got on the list, which was another car I've been dying to get from my uh, childhood. And I also did get this one in black walls. This one's in pretty decent shape, as I'm still trying to pull off the sticker, guys. Sorry about that. This one is in pretty decent shape. And I did get a red version of this one too, which is really cool. Okay, but here she is. The Highway Patrol. Okay, and this is an old casting done in black walls. Also still has a lot of flea bites. And as you can see, the tampos are giving out. But this is another 1977 release, guys. And I always loved that casting. I always thought it was really cool. And I do have the red version, which is a little bit worse condition. But I want to pull it out anyway here. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, because these are the last ones I picked up, guys. So they're still, uh, they're not wrapped up in paper. I just kind of put them in the box. The other ones are wrapped up. Okay, what else do we got? Okay, here it is. And uh, here is the red version. Which actually, I believe, might even be a little bit older, to be honest with you. Let me just check the date on it. If I can get it. No, it's a 1977 as well. And here's the red version. This is the Fire Chief, guys. Okay? Tampos are all gone. Really, really flea-bitten. But still love this casting. Okay? There's the base. 1977. And that's the Fire Chief. If ever one day I get into restoring Hot Wheels, these two will probably be restored. Not 100% sure, though, because the nostalgic part of these cars is actually keeping them in the condition that they're in. And, you know, all beat up and all, they're still quite cool looking. Really, really liked these castings as a kid and still love them today. So I just had to have them. And there you go. Highway Patrol and Fire Chief. Very, very cool. All on black walls. And a lot of these cars I got are on black walls. Now this one is really, really cool. I mean, as you guys do know, I'm a huge Ferrari uh, collector. And for me to find a Ferrari I don't have is pretty awesome. No matter what it is. Always excited. And this sounds... 
What does it sound like? The bass is giving out a bit. Oh, no, it's just loose. But here you are. How many of you guys remember seeing this Ferrari? I mean, honestly. Ultra hot Ferrari in metallic blue, guys. I mean, the release date on this is... Uh, God, I can't even read it. It's all blacked out. 19. No, I don't even want to guess. I can't really see the date. But <clears throat> it has to be vintage, guys. I mean, I don't remember seeing that car. That is pretty awesome. Metallic blue Ferrari on Ultra Hot. Awesome. Now, you know I had to pick that up. But anyway. Next one is a casting I collect. So, I mean, it's a bit of a newer casting. It's uh, not an old casting. It's just it's a casting I do collect. And it is the uh, Mustang. And this one was released in 1997. <clears throat> here she is here. It's an old casting of the Mustang. I really, really like this casting. When it came out, I thought it was amazing. The Hot Wheels did an awesome job on this. And I try to get everyone I, I can find. And this is definitely one I did not have in the collection. And I thought is a must. And I'm telling you, the prices on these were really, really reasonable. These guys took good care of me. And uh, I spent three hours there. Just talking. I mean, I could have spent the whole day there, but I mean, it was pretty far away and I had to come back. But I had a great time and I got a lot of cool cars. Moving on. We got here. Oh, yeah. This one is cool. Ford GT in purple. That is pretty sweet. Very, very sweet on that one. And as you can see, I love the white interior, by the way. But as you can see, the prices are really reasonable. This one, I paid two bucks for it. Not bad at all. And it's a card that I haven't seen. This is really awesome. The color, I haven't seen it like this. The next one is a car I've been looking for for a long time. Uh, you can, they're, they're, they're around, but usually pretty pricey. I got a pretty good deal on this one. Still was a little bit up there, but uh, it's a car I always wanted. And for any of you guys that are uh, into rock and roll or um, anybody that's into uh, the older... Heavy Metal Music is going to know what this is right away. And uh, this is sitting on black walls as well. And it is the ZZ Top Mobile. I mean, this is just this is just awesome. This is nostalgic right there. As I said, it's a car I've been looking for for a little while. And finding it in this condition, I'm really happy with it. It's just a beauty. And especially sitting on black walls, it's just adding to the black wall collection, which I'm really trying to nail down right now. So very, very happy about that find. Next we have, actually I should pull these guys out. Another vintage casting that I try to collect them all of. And I do love this casting. It's it's weird, yes, but I do love this casting. And I never saw this one before. Uh, and it is the uh, Lamborghini Countach, guys. Okay. Let me just pull off these stickers. Should have done that a long time ago, but uh, I didn't. And here it is in white on Ultra Hot. Looking pretty awesome. And I believe this next version was a color shifter, if I'm not mistaken. Just because of the color of the car, I have a funny feeling that it was a color shifter. Now, I'm not really that sure. I should probably do some homework on that. It might not be, but uh, because it is sitting on black walls. And it is this 
pink version here. Now, the color of it makes me want to think that it was a color shifter. But the fact that it's all metal, metal base, and on black walls, I might be wrong. It might not actually be, uh, it might not be a color shifter. But nevertheless, I don't have it in my collection. Now I do. So pretty awesome. Something a little newer here. Now this one I hope I don't have in my collection. It is possible that I might. I just don't know about it because I do have a ton of these Porsches. But I did get this matte black version with the yellow interior. I think it's a little bit more recent this one here. And I think it says 2006 here. I think it was a multi-pack exclusive. But very cool. Now, like I said, hopefully I don't have it in the collection. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna think positive. Not in the collection, guys. Not in the collection. <laughs> okay, moving on. Let's check out. Let's unwrap a couple here. These I have. They're probably wrapped like three or four at a time. So I'm gonna unwrap them slowly. We've got this Lamborghini here, which I might have as well. I'm hoping I don't. I didn't pay much for it, so it really doesn't matter. Even if I do have uh, doubles uh, of it, it won't make that much of a difference. But you can't take the chance that if you don't have it and you didn't pick it up, you'll regret it. So it is this Lamborghini here. And enforcer livery and I'm really not too sure but anyway this is a 2002 release of the Marcielago and there she is and after that we've got another casting well you know I'm not gonna say that I collect because you guys you know if I bought all these, it's because I collect them. So, next, pretty cool find, I must say. And, you know, like I said at the beginning of this video, most of these cars that I bought, I've never seen in these colors or uh, liveries. Okay, so it's really, really cool to get them and add them to the collection. All right. So the next one on the list that I'm going to show you is this Chevelle. And this Chevelle is gorgeous. I love the color, love the racing livery on it. And it's just a great casting in my books. I think it's really awesome. Very, very cool looking colors on that. Okay, now this one. This one I picked up a few variations of it today. Okay. I picked up a few variations of this car. Got some in better condition than the others. And I do have a purple version of this car already. But I'm not sure if it's exactly the same of this. So if it's not, I got really lucky with this car today. Okay. And I am talking about this Datsun 300 ZX. Very, very cool, okay? The graphics are really clean. The paint is still clean. There's no flea bites on it. Undercarriage is perfect. I mean, this car is awesome, and it does have the opening doors, which is a definite bonus. And like I said, I do have a purple version of it, but I don't think it's the same. Actually, let me pull it out. It is the same. Okay. No. It's exactly the same as the one I already have. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't check the wheels. But anyway. Now I have two. So one of these will probably go up for sale. Very cool anyway. 
you see, as I said, we do fish doubles once in a while. All right. Next one. This one is a beautiful classic. This is a casting of Collect, the fourth Thunderbolt. Do love this casting. And this one in this blue is just spectacular. Now, this is from the Cool Classics, I guess. Or just the Classic Series, maybe. Might be, yeah, it might be just the Classic Series, guys. With that uh, special paint. And is definitely a version I do not have. Just a beautiful, beautiful model. And as I said, the uh, 300, I did pick up a few variations today. So hopefully there's other ones that I didn't, that I don't have. Hopefully. Let's see what we got here. Okay, another more recent casting. We've got the... Now this is also a casting I collect a lot of as well, but mostly these casting, this casting is mostly done in uh, silver, and I just bought it in green, the Aston Martin DB5. It looks amazing in this British racing green, and the more I look at it, I think I already have it. Let me just check. Aston Martin. Where are you, Aston Martin? I want to say I already have this. Where are you, Aston Martin? Where are you? British cars, British cars, British cars are there, British cars are up there. Jaguar, Aston Martin. I do not have it, thank you, Lord. I do not have it in green. I have it in red, and I have it in silver, and beautiful to get it in this green. Loving it. Awesome car. Now, these are a little newer. We got a few newer ones that are there. What else do we? Ah, oh, this one is sweet. This one is sweet. We have the Chevelle. This Chevelle in this gray with the matte black top. Never saw it before. Awesome to see this one. Grabbed it right away. And I mean right away. Love the Chevelles. And this casting is pretty cool. Even though it's got the rake. But, you know, back then, cars were raked. So it just suits perfectly in my book. And that is great. Awesome with the black, with the matte black. Just amazing look. Then over here, we have another Thunderbolt. Very cool. Awesome looking racing graphics on it. Very stoked about that. Next we have... Okay, that's what I was waiting for. Beautiful. Okay, now I can show those. We have a Ford GT also from, uh, I believe, the Classics series. Because this one is done in this awesome Spectra Flame Green. That is sweet. Very, very sweet. Love it in these uh, colors. I think it's awesome looking. Let's see what else we have. Uh, here's another Classics. Uh, another uh, Classics car that I bought. And it is the uh, 69, I believe, right? 69 Firebird. In this awesome blue. Which I really hope I don't have. But I don't think so. Sitting on red lines, which is really awesome. And this car is just in great condition, honestly. they Just amazing. Even the GT40 there was just amazing condition. A lot of these cars I got in great shape. And I'm really, really happy about that. This one is sweet. Then I got this Camaro here. We got the newer IROC Z. This one was released... 2011 so it wasn't too long ago it must be a 2012 and this one is really really nice metallic black paint i mean that thing is just really awesome very cool looking car awesome detail
Just amazing, man. Really, really, really nice. Okay, moving on down. Let's see what we got in this pile here. Oh, yeah, yeah, this guy. Another casting I collect, guys. Everybody knows I collect this car. If you watch my channel, well, if you've watched it from day one, you know how huge of a fan I am of this 40 Ford, okay? I try to get every single casting of this that's ever made, and uh, I've been missing a couple, and this is one of them. It does have a couple of issues, a little flea bite there, flea bites here, but still sitting on these white walls in this beautiful pink that is really really an awesome looking car and i believe that i have another version of it that i bought as well today let's just see if i can get it out ah, there it is yeah and this one is really cool as well Now, I don't think this one, okay, I'll pull that one off to the side. I don't think this one came, I think somebody painted the wheels pink on this. But nevertheless, the color of this car is just stunning. Now, if I can get that marking off the tires, off the mags, and bring it back to original, I'll be very happy. But I bought it anyways, because, I mean, that car... Look at this color. It's just amazing. An amazing blue on this thing. That just stands right out. And like I said, I mean, it is a casting I collect, so I had to have it all. And, <clears throat> I mean, if I can't get that pink off, well then, hey, what do you want to do? I'll change the wheels. But this thing is just beautiful. Just a beauty. So cool looking. Okay, I also grabbed a ton of these. I grabbed these Jaguars. Now, these Jaguars, I do collect. The XJ220, I do collect this casting. Love it. I think it's an amazing casting by Hot Wheels. And I got some variations I never knew were out there. Starting with this red-orange one. I mean, this thing is sweet. Really, really, really nice. Now, I didn't know that there was so many versions of this casting. Honestly, the more and more I'm digging, the more I'm finding. And there's just some pretty cool variations. This one looks great. Move this guy over here. This one's pretty cool. Sitting on those crazy mags. That's really cool looking drag. And actually the wheels are kind of kind of cool on this. They suit it pretty well. And then I picked up two more in this metallic blue. Got one on these lace wheels with the gray interior. Very, very simple, very beautiful. No graphics, very clean. But then we have this version. On Ultra Hots. With the black interior. Very clean. Very beautiful. But pretty awesome the way they did that. I mean, the paint is almost the same, but different interior, different wheels. Very, very cool. Then I picked up this, which is another casting I really, really enjoy. Love this casting as well. <clears throat> and it is the 56 Ford. And this one's in premium. This one's sitting on real riders. Does have the opening hood, uh... 
version. And it says on the top, Editor's Choice. Love the colors on this truck, guys. Love the colors. Those are just awesome. Amazing addition to the collection. Okay, got some carded stuff here. I picked up a couple of carded stuff. Hopefully I don't already have, but we'll find that out. Got some more stuff to unwrap. Some more Lucy's. And my dog's going crazy. Dog wants to play. There we go. Let's see what else we got. Oh yeah. <laughs> this one was this one's definitely a newer release, not that long ago. But still, I really, really like the color of this car, so I had to take it. This really cool green just suits this just suits this car perfectly. Honestly, I really, really I'm digging this color a lot. I mean that's a that's a crazy, crazy looking color for a mainline. Ah, another Jag. Another version of that Jaguar XJ220. And, oh, wow, I forgot about that one. Oh, this is cool. Very, very cool. Off to the side. And here's the other version of the Jag. XJ220 in gold. Pretty cool. Then we got this really nice, really nice to me anyway, really nice Chevelle in Edelbrock livery. This thing is sweet. Honestly, this thing is sweet. I mean, check out the interior. I don't know if you guys can see it really that well, but you can see down the center, there's a chrome council, chrome dash, red seats. I mean, this thing is done up pretty good. Red base. I mean, that's pretty awesome looking. I love the choice of wheels. It just sits beautifully. Okay, let's unwrap this. I think this is the last of the unwraps that I have to do. Oh, yeah, 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 here we go, here they come, okay, off to the side, here they come everybody, I told you I did buy some more of these Nissans, and let's start off with this guy right here, a Majorette, I mean this thing is pretty cool, this, this one also has the opening door feature, T-tops, as you can see, opening door feature, and what's also really cool about it is it does have the pop-up lights. I mean, for that age, I don't know how well they work, but anyways, there they are. Pop-up lights, guys. Okay. I mean, that's crazy. This car is crazy. And this is a majorette from, didn't put the date on it. A lot older, that's for sure. But that's pretty awesome. I mean, I just had to take that. I said, that, that's a definite plus in the collection. This next one I bought uh, is, um, is an Ultra Chrome Ultra Hot. Now, this one, I have a version of it, but uh, it's quite beat up. It's actually from my childhood. And uh, this one here, 1974, guys. So I found it today, again the at toy mountain collectibles and i grabbed it i mean this is a much cleaner version than the one i have okay and this one is pretty awesome looking the one i have from my childhood is beaten up really bad but this one is super clean so that is an awesome replacement 
for the other one. Then we have, what is this? The XK6, no, the XK8. Jaguar XK8. Now this one I don't have a lot of in my collection. I really don't. I think this might even be like the second version I have in my collection. Very, very cool. Then I picked up this guy here. We do have, well, that one wants to fly. We do have the 959, older version as well. Check out those graphics. Twin turbo on the back. I mean, this one, it's much, it's right there. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's move on to some. What do we got here? We have some carded stuff, guys, okay, that I picked up. Um, let me see what I'm going to do with this. A lot of this carded stuff is, uh, is, is much newer, okay? So, I mean, it's not... Uh, nothing really probably uh, too special in a lot of your books there. But anyway, I thought it was really cool to pick them up, so I did. And one of them is this Red Edition uh, Koenig uh, Jesko, okay? And I do try to collect the Red Editions. We don't get them up here in Canada, so I do try to get them wherever I can. And this one I thought was pretty awesome looking. Really, really nice. And then also we grabbed... Oh, this one is cool, too. I got a couple of cool ones here. A little bit older. Uh, there is a couple of older ones here. I have this guy right here. Nice Lamborghini Diablo. And this one has some goofy graphics. And this was from 2001, everyone. Okay. Now, I do have a purple Diablo in the collection, but not with these graphics. So pretty awesome. Very, very cool. Now the Diablo is also a casting I'm a completionist with, so uh, we'll pick up everything. And this guy here, this was awesome. I mean, this was a 2005 release. I was collecting in 2005, and I must have missed this one because I did not see this car anywhere. I'm very, very to get my hands, very happy to get my hands on it because I don't have a lot in the collection. I don't have a lot of Celine S7s, okay. And this one, I especially never saw. I do have a couple of variations in silver. Uh, I think I have one or two other variations. That's it. But this one is done in the matte blue. Very, very cool. Completely matte blue. And it has these orange five star or P fives, I think everyone likes to call them. And uh, this thing just looks pretty awesome. Very very cool looking car. Now this guy here, hopefully I don't have. The more I look at it, the more I think I do there. But uh, hopefully I don't have. If I do have it, I'm not going to open it, so let me go check if I have it. Terrific. Okay. I do have it. So, this is going to be trade bait. I did it again. You see, I always end up doing that. Picked up another Ferrari, and... Of course, already have it. So, another double, and we'll go for trade bait. So, now, nah, the last on the list here is this guy right here. And, well, I've already shown you one version of this guy tonight. And this is the next version of him. 
in BF Goodrich livery from the Hot Wheels series released in 2029 uh, and it is the 56 Ford sitting on real riders again and let's get them out of its prison and there she is and be of good rich livery very very cool again the version with the opening hood very cool and Unreal Riders, which is also very cool. And there she is. So not bad. A bit of a pretty awesome haul of a mix of Hot Wheels. Uh... I really enjoy getting cars like this. Honestly, I, I do enjoy finding older Hot Wheels. It's uh, it's a passion. I mean, yes, the new stuff is amazing. We all know that. Very realistic, very uh, period correct. The Hot Wheels has moved on to a new level. But the old stuff is still classic and nostalgic and just really, really fun to run into. Some of these old models that just still today look amazing. Anyways, guys, like I said, let me know in the comments for the future videos. If you guys want to see my collection cars by cars, okay? If you do, let me know in the comments what cars you would like to see. Like I said, I'm going to start off with Camaros. And uh, then I'm going to follow what you guys tell me that you want to see. All right. So till next time, guys, be safe, be well, happy hunting, everyone. Ciao.